All right, welcome back, Kyle Mohan Racing. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to talk a little bit about this 20B block that I just finished doing some machine work studying on, as well as a little bit of street porting and polishing. These blocks are getting more and more rare, and in many cases, we're subbing in either 13B Cosmo or 13B FD3S components to complete these blocks. And as they get more rare, that's right, the price goes up. So even the motors I'm running in my Formula Drift car, I think at this point, the rarity versus the reward is getting difficult to race. I think in the long run, I'm going to move to a four rotor um, because you can use pretty much all 13B components. But here is a classic cast iron 20B. And one of the things that makes it an OEM 20B, I think everybody knows this, is this fat, thick iron, thick plate that the OEM bearing lives in that allows that two-piece 20B shaft to have so much strength, both in itself and in the block, the bearing carrier plate, that allows... For high horsepower high rpm multi-rotor motors because if you think about it a lot of the times four rotors aren't turning as high of rpm as a 13b or 20b and if you start to look at horsepower numbers disregarding torque i think three rotors still come in at some of the higher horsepower numbers on average for things outside of drag race or uh, drift builds. So being that it's the only variation of anything that's not a two rotor available to the public that was a factory motor, meaning you can't buy factory four rotors, five rotors, or six rotors. Mazda only ever put out 13 Bs and 20 Bs. It just makes this a cool and unique block. Uh, the customer had some specific requests. Uh, they didn't want this port job or motor uh, to be something that was going to idle significantly rough, have too much brap. I think they're going for a low-key, high-horsepower build. So we ended up going with a decent-sized street port on our secondary and primary ports with a nice polish behind it. Not a mirror finish, but a nice polish, so we keep our atomization in our fuel. But we did not modify our intake opening timing. So we extended duration, allowing for more airflow, more horsepower potential, but we didn't change our intake opening timing, which is generally going to give more overlap, cause more brap, whether or not it's a street port, bridge port, peripheral port, or semi-peripheral port, it's really that intake timing and overlap that causes the brap based on scavenge and port timing. So simple requests, high horsepower 20B that's going to be reliable. So we wanted to start off by replacing some of the components that weren't good anymore. This is a fresh Cosmo 13B rear to match into the existing 20B plates, giving us a nice strong base block. And then we've also come in and machined all of our tension bolt holes to accept the half inch studs, which we offer and many shops offer, allowing the block to be strengthened, reducing its tendency to twist because rotaries are stacked, and also reducing its tendency for rotor housing expansion and reducing the cracking that occurs in your cast iron plates. Um, from what I've seen over the years, I have never personally seen a studded block, a properly studded block break. And I know there's a lot of talks about how to strengthen blocks, whether they're being doweled, studded, oil pan braced. But I think one of the best way to goes, best way to, ways to go are the full half inch studs either all the way through or from back iron to front plate. In the 20B, we do keep two 13B length studs and then use the two OEM front short bolts, allowing for assembly and disassembly. Um, but the rest of these studs, 
That's one of the 13B ones right there. The rest of these studs are all full length, and this heavily reduces expansion and twist in multi-rotor blocks. And you look into four rotors, you'll see that most four rotors have oversized studs or oversized tension bolts. And it's just preferable to go with studs similar to piston motors because studs have a better tendency to torque down to proper torque specs as bolts have a tendency to twist and sometimes you don't get an accurate torque down um, going around through all your tension bolts or if it was a piston block uh, torquing down your heads. So always recommend studs whether they're OEM size or oversized and then if you're really getting serious about your builds whether it's protecting um, you know, a very hard to replace block like a 20B um, and very hard to replace components or it's just strengthening for horsepower. Um, I think these are all good reasons to take your time on builds. Make sure you've got nice flat plates. Make sure you've got good water O-ring grooves. Um, if you need to, you can always lap or even have the grooves retrude up. But starting with a strong bottom end, a solid block is very important. And you can see that's exactly what we have going on here. Port matched on the intake side, nice fat street port, not too much brap because that's what the customer requested, and some nice half inch studs to reduce any type of potential for block fracture, block breaking, because this thing's gonna run some boost. It's gonna turn some RPM. I mean, why would you build a rotary and port if you weren't planning on making power? And I know that's what this block's going to do. All right, well, I had this on the bench. I wanted to talk about it. Um, I'm sorry that we haven't got back to the hybrid motor. I know everybody's been asking. I had a video file issue, and I lost a bunch of files. I lost a bunch of time. I can't seem to get it back. So we're going to have to move on. I'm redoing some of the hybrid videos, exhaust, things like that as we speak. But I had this on the bench, wanted to talk about it. So that's a wrap. That's a wrap. I'm going to get brapping back to working and porting and studding and working on the race cars because that's what I got to do. And I really thank everybody for watching, asking questions. Um, the channel keeps growing, and that means I'm going to keep putting out videos. This has been a little tech talk about 20Bs and the porting and how to strengthen the blocks and just what we had on the bench at KMR Mazda Tricks. And that's a brap. I'm out. Brap, brap.